Hello, welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni. Then let's look at today's top news. The death of 10-year-old Ayush Malakar at Agartala Government Medical College Hospital has prompted the Tripura government to launch an inquiry into the alleged medical negligence surrounding the case. Ayush, suffering from a urinary tract and problem, was scheduled for surgery after consulting a city surgeon who demanded rupees one lakh. The family paid rupees ten thousand, and when the surgery was delayed, half of the remaining amount, the doctor reportedly pressured them for the rest. Admitted on 27th of December, Ayush had to procure surgery-related items from the doctor's clinic. Tragically, during the operation the next day, Ayush was declared dead on the operation table, and the doctor purportedly fled without meeting the family. Ayush's father, Apurba Malakar, claims they were denied access and received a death certificate after the prolonged wait. A recent study conducted by Massachusetts Institute of Technology Engineers has introduced a potential weight loss treatment in the form of a vibrating capsule named Vibratory Ingestible Bioelectronic Stimulator or VIBES. The capsule, roughly the size of a large vitamin, contains a small motor that initiates vibrations upon reaching the stomach, stimulating stretch receptors that convey a sense of fullness to the brain. In trials involving animals, those administrated the capsule 20 minutes before meals experienced a 40% reduction in food intake due to the release of satiety-inducing hormones. Shriya Srinivasan, lead author of the study, had now an assistant professor of bioengineering at Harvard University suggests that VIBES could offer a weight loss option with fewer side effects compared to existing pharmacological treatments. The NCDRC has deemed the treatment of a patient based solely on telephonic advice from a doctor as negligent care, emphasizing the importance of a personal examination. The ruling came during a case involving a Ranchi based private hospital accused of negligence in treating a patient with acute pancreatitis. The Epic's Consumer Court observed that the doctors overlooked critical symptoms and medical reports, leading to a lack of timely diagnosis and treatment. The patient received advice over the phone from Dr. Mohan, leading to a medication prescription by Dr. Nath, but the condition did not improve. Despite an ultrasound report hinting at acute pancreatitis, no specific treatment was administrated. The patient's condition worsened and the, ultimately the patient passed away. The court noted that had Dr. Mohan personally examined the patient, early detection of complications might have been possible. If you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps contact with a bedmate is causing the problem, says University of Michigan researchers. In a study led by the Adai Ban Rothschild, an assistant professor in the University of Michigan's Department of Physiology, Department of Psychology, researchers observed the sleep behavior of mice in a social context. The study published in Current Biology revealed that mice exhibit a strong need for physical contact before sleep initiation, engaging in cuddling during sleep driven by an inner motivation termed somatologging. The researchers found that mice willingly forego their preferred sleep locations to seek social contact, indicating a motivation for prolonged physical connection. The study utilized advanced wireless devices and video recordings to monitor multiple mice within a group simultaneously, revealing synchronization in various neurophysiological measures, including the time of sleep, the wake onset, and REM sleep. While cuddling during sleep is prevalent among animals, including humans, the study acknowledges the potential disruptions to sleep quality. In both mice and humans, co-sleeping can have mixed effects with instances of sleep disruption. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.